In its most simple terms, inflation is caused by demand outstripping supply. In our current situation, demand appears to be running hot due to the release of spending delayed by the pandemic and by the aggressive government Federal Reserve policies to avoid a lockdown-related economic collapse. But as economic activity now appears to be slowing, it begs the question, does a recession, defined by at least two consecutive quarters of negative growth, necessarily bring down inflation by lowering demand? The answer to that is probably yes, but it's far from certain. In the 1970s, oil supply shocks drove gas prices significantly higher, enough to cause a recession, but those prices remained elevated even as domestic recession ensued. There are obvious similarities to our current situation as crude prices remain high due mostly to supply issues. Push cost inflation is generally defined as inflation caused by increases in cost of production, i.e. labor, raw materials, and most importantly, energy. As the economy slows from the Fed's removal of stimulus, analysts will be closely watching the price of materials, particularly crude, for a sign that decreased demand will be able to take down inflation.